Hey folks, Fred Golifaro here from the Fisherman Magazine. Today I'm going to be fishing with Captain John Paduano with Premium Charters. We're going to be fishing for Conic Bay, doing some light tackle casting for stripers, hopefully find a few fluke, maybe a weak fish or two. And John's going to be showing us a unique style of bucktailing that's going to change the way you think about bucktailing. It's just something about fishing I always liked. I, I believe even if I was in the Midwest or born in a, a desert, I would still like fishing as much. You know, it's just something that's like inside of me, you know? It's uh, what makes me happy. Well, you know, what I like about Peconic Bay is uh, it's got a good fishery. Um, not too many people know about it, so uh, there's not too much pressure. And, and pressure on, on fish, especially bass and the weak fish, pressure is very underrated. I mean, it, it's extremely important to realize how much pressure affects the fish. So the, the fact that not too many people, you know, fish here is uh, one of the, the great attributes about it. Another is um, whenever the, the wind is blowing, you can usually find some place to go. Uh, so if you've got a, a trip planned and you come out and it's blowing southeast, I can go somewhere. If it's blowing southwest, I can go somewhere. If it's blowing northwest, I got spots to go. So I pretty much got places I can go anywhere in the, in the bay. My, my technique ever since the advent of uh, braid and, and no stretch, because you wouldn't be able to do this, you know, with mono. You know, this is strictly braid fishing. And, you know, I, I skin dive. I, I'm a very good observer. I think all good fishermen are good observers. And, you know, if you go and you watch bay fish, if, if you skin dive and you come upon a school of bay fish, when they get startled, they, they, they shoot four or five feet, like shiners especially, you know, bay anchovies, you know, smaller fish. Bunker, for, uh, they, could, they could take off for a while, bunker, mackerel, that kind of fish. But the smaller bay fish, you know, six inch and under, they'll shoot for, you know, four to six feet, and then they, they gotta stop, they can't keep that up. So, you know, in order to, to imitate that, yeah. that's what that snapping right technique there. does. Oh, there was one. You get a picture, a bass behind your bucktail, looking at it, thinking, you know, hey, you snap it, that, that bass now has to think whether to hit it or, or let it go. And most of, most of the time they hit it. The hit is always after it stops. That fish, that bass is following that bucktail, it takes off, his, his prey takes off, and he runs after it. As soon as it stops, he knows it's got to stop. I mean, they're, they're, they're born, they're, they're around them every day. That's how the bay fish are. They, they shoot and then they slow down. So as soon as it stops, that's when you nail it. You know, that's why I use the, the light line, the light color line, because like today, if you have a little bit of wind and, and you got a little bow in your line, you can watch that line and as soon as you see it jump, you set the hook. You don't have to wait for the feel on the rod, which sometimes is hard with the light line and, and uh, you know, a wind loop or a wind belly in it. If you know there's a fish there, you just give it that extra. I mean, as hard as you can, use your, your shoulder, your elbow, your, your wrist all at once. You should almost feel like a thud in the rod. It should be like, boom. And, uh, and you, you'll see how it works. I wouldn't suggest you go and just blind cast to an area you have no idea where, you know, what the, where the fish are. But if you're pretty, like if you have a rock or you have a drop off, you're like, I always catch a fish here, or I know the fish are here, I'm marking them. That's when you want to try it, especially if you're new, because if you do this all day, your arm is going to be shot for a week. tackle we, I use all the time for, for this is uh, six foot rods and the, uh, the reason for that is if you go to six and a half, seven foot, that extra leverage on that rod 
you can feel it in your wrist and you're not going to keep up any amount of time doing it. It's just too tiresome and you'll get fatigued really fast. It's hard, it's very hard on your wrist with that extra little bit of leverage. The six foot gives you, it's like the perfect size for the perfect uh, pull and you know distance on the, uh, on the lure. Today I was using an eight pound test.